Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And today guys, we're going to be talking about Nicholas Sturgeon and the S&P government again. Fucking stupid. I, I mean, I, I can't, I'm fed up with listening to these guys. Because for the entire week or within a progress of seven days, we have been hearing stupid story after stupid story after stupid story after stupid story. It's, it's, it's getting annoying. It's literally getting annoying. And yesterday's announcement was just another thunder strike. It was literally Thor's hammer on Tala Tokiwi. Not clever. So what did she do? What was so bad? I mean, it's not like beforehand she was wanting to build a border between Scotland and England, promoting her uh, independent Scotland thing, fucking up the economy, making sure things go absolutely bust. But we're not on about those. I mean, they have no contribution to the fact that Scotland's not getting enough money, apparently. But the thing is, she won't open up the businesses early enough so we don't have an economic failure. No. We're going back to the Lurgate, or COVID, or whatever disease you want to call it. Nicola Sturgeon has issued that, like that was on for buses before, you cannot enter any shop in Scotland without a mask. Meaning, masks are mandatory in shops. And one thing, I'm telling you, I am definitely going to get my shopping in one big go. And I think there's going to be a lot of people doing the same. Before the 10th, I think everyone's going to have a big, big shop so they don't have to go into the fucking shop and wear a mask. Now, you might all think, oh, it's just because to protect people, protect the vulnerable, but we know the story of the S&P's track with the infection. We know the elderly people in the care homes, they must have been trying to kill them off one by one or something because they were the worst infected during this pandemic and I've not even came round to that video yet because... I'm so fed up to look at the news and they talk about COVID all the time. But I don't look at the news anymore, this is kind of why, and there's so much other bad stories to talk about. But, what this means, they, I think the S&P are actually building this idea of a progressive utopia. Like, the progressive utopia they've been building for a while now. And, one of these things that every government seems to be literally on to copying China, which I might make a video on, is to make sure everyone is so obedient, they're so scared, that they won't go out the house without following the guidelines. That sounds a bit of 1984, doesn't it? Or it sounds like a bit of V for Vendetta. That is probably the better description of it. But... May I guess? This is where I get my thoughts from. It started with the buses. No, no, let me start again. It started with advisory, meaning you don't have to wear a mask. We know the effects of masks. They're fucking useless. Like, face shields, masks. Is the virus just going to come out here and say, Oh shite, he's wearing a mask, she's wearing a mask, I'm not going to go to you and try and kill you or anything. Oh, that mask is definitely not going to affect you. I'll just go loon the side. It's stupid. We know there's countless studies saying how pathetic masks are. So, with that in mind, telling people you can't get onto public transport without a mask that's bad. A lot of elderly people need masks. Sorry, they need public transport. A lot of people who are unemployed, where Scotland's become the third highest unemployed area in the UK, funny enough. No, actually, it's actually the fourth highest, so I forgot Northern Ireland was there. And it's actually becoming really serious. And it, it's not becoming a really good thing to watch. And, well... I think this could lead to a, quite an escalation of control taken by the SMP because they have a big majority control right now and 
Not all people seem to think they're a bad idea, but we know who's the bad ones in Scotland. It's the SNP. They have done more damage to the country than they have in the 10 years than the fucking Tories have in the entirety of their spree. No joke. So, where do I see this? Like I said before, um, they tell people to wear masks on the buses, right? Then they're telling people you can't wear, you can't go, sorry, you can't go in the bus without the mask, speak English. And then, you can't go into a shop, not any shop, just all shops, without a mask. Tell me this, how long until we won't be allowed to go into shops without a vaccine? As soon as they start disputing this vaccine that's a miracle for some fucking reason. We don't even know what's in this thing. We don't even know if it's anything that Trump's got to say. We don't even... I mean, people are going to be obliged to like, Oh, look, there's a vaccine! Anyone who knows biology or chemistry, uh, or the biometrics of chemicals and viruses, they know if the virus affects you the first time, and it attacks you again, you won't be affected by it. It's simple fucking biology. But if it's a whole new virus, or it's a C or D or E version of the virus, it's probably less likely to affect you, because you already had that first strain in the first place. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, though. But, how long until they're going to say, unless they pull it off, and they say, oh yeah, you can stop wearing the mask. Because there's a lot of places that's actually getting annoyed by this now. Um, like, how long until it's going to be mandatory to be anywhere without a special little shitty band saying, I've been vaccinated? Is the police going to pull me over? Am I going to be a arrested for trying to get my son's baby formula because I just had to get out there because my baby's fucking crying. Know what I mean? You got these mothers that have so much stuff to do, single mothers, and like you, all these elderly people. What if they don't have time to get masks? What if the bands are fidgeting about wearing their masks? Is the police going to come over and give them a smack? Are they going to arrest them? Are they? Are these people going to get arrested now? Exactly. This is the fucking issue. People might be saying, oh, you're just overthinking it. No, no, no. If it becomes mandatory to wear masks inside a shop, what's fucking next? I mean, what is seriously next? Because, I mean, Nicola is still having an idea of localised lockdowns. And she was like, down Fleet and Galloway, which is down at the, Eng border sh the border of England. And... Funny enough, she was issuing all this fucking stuff when she says, You must wear masks there, but barons can touch and play with each other all they fucking like. Not a joke. She actually said that herself. The barons can do whatever they like. like. I mean, they still have to be eight of them, but they don't care about social distancing with them. So the barons are somehow now immune? Really? But everyone else has to wear masks? But the bands are so how immune? I think I've seen a few children die of this virus, no? Or is this just because of allergy or some new virus I've never heard of before? Be careful, people. Be careful. Because the SMP seem to be taking a very high stride in this. They're saying one thing, and they say the other thing. Because it's actually iconic. Nicola herself posted a picture from the Financial Times showing Oh, the high infection rates are in England Very well, it's in England, England, England And somehow your advisors told you to tell everyone to wear masks I think you're restricting everyone's freedom of thought, are you not? Are you the thought police now? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are we facing another socialist utopia in Scotland? Well, if that's the case, I'm not fucking having it. Are you having it?
It's ironic. We know the S&P fucked this country up way more than they do, and a lot of people are still neglect to it now. But maybe I'm just racist. Ha. Huh. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means act excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.